Hi everyone, I'm the Melting Man. Uh, you might know me as Sam, but you probably know me as the Melting Man. Welcome to a game that I've been really hooked on lately. Like, I just started really getting into it, so I don't have a lot of hours on it. But, uh, I love games like this. This is Dead by Daylight. It's a four versus one game <coughs> where you, either as a group, one of the group of four survivors, plays against a maniacal killer. The survivors have no means of defending themselves really and the object of the game is for them to survive, coordinate, turn on several generators and escape uh, the killer. This is their fucking name. They kill things. You're supposed to grab them, put them on hooks and sacrifice them to the entity. This game is strange because um, first of all, there's a really cool like underlying story that you know I won't get into. Um, I just think it's really cool. There's like pretext to everything. But this game has some of the saltiest people on the internet I've ever seen. There's this weird meta and I like to play as the killer because I'm by myself a lot of the time. There's this weird meta where like people believe that there's such thing as camping in this game where you sit near the hook or patrol the hook. You'll see. I wanted to play it because I've been playing it a lot. I wanted to record it so that maybe I can attract some of those salty motherfuckers to come at me because, you know, win or lose, the scoreboard says I win, so. I love being the killer because I more often than not play by myself, but this game has, it, it's very, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's one of the coolest games I've ever played. Um, there's a lot to like about it, but I think it's really cool the way that uh, this game is made, especially with its killers. <clears throat> the Trapper is the one they opened the game with. The original three are the Trapper. My guy looks a little different because I have some DLC. Uh, then there's the Wraith. Uh, he's really creepy. Then the Hillbilly, my boy, the Hillbilly. I love playing as the Hillbilly. The most recent updates are um, the Nurse, the first uh, new chapter of the story. The most recent one, um, or what did I say? The first was the nurse, the most recent is the hag, and then this one, which I actually thought was pretty cool, listen, listen to what happens. Hopefully I won't get copyrighted, uh, but listen, listen. Isn't that cool? The music physically changes. But anyway, the, the, everybody has their own little loadout. You can do the, you can do these things to upgrade you for one match at a time. That's what brings this really like strange vital importance to the add-ons and offerings of each character. Enough of my blabbering. I'm gonna be straight up scary at this game. So let's fucking go. Let's do this. I'm gonna play against people. They're gonna be so fucking salty that I win. Anyway. Yeah. All right, here we go. Me, the hillbilly, you're watching from the killer's perspective. So like I said previously, the killer has to grab their survivors, put them on the hook, and sacrifice them. Uh, if I get even one, I win. Uh, but I can increase the level of my magnificent victory by sacrificing the rest of them. The survivors have to go around. You might be able to see. I'm going to try and keep talking, but also focus on the game. They have to turn on all of these, well, five of these generators to open up the, the, the escape doors and get away. There's a variety... Ha, you little bastard! Ha! <laughs> Favorite part, chasing the survivors. But there's a variety of things that the survivors can do to get away because I'm much faster. There's one of them. They can throw stuff in front of me, specifically really only those pallets. They can outmaneuver me. They can run around trees. They can, di you know, they can uh, dip, duck, dodge, and dive. Um... So, like, I, as you can see, I mean, the survivors have absolutely no way of defending themselves. All they have is their ability to run and outwit me. So, map awareness and perks, because every every survivor, every killer has their own little unique perks. Uh, so, low levels, it's really hard to be good at anything, because you're just so useless. Um, not having map awareness... Um, not not really thinking that I shouldn't run in a straight line because no matter what the um, The survivors are slower than the killer. Here's the main controversy with this game People think this is camping. I could see why they think that this is what I do I stick near my near my captive and I skulk around the hook People think that this is equivalent to doing this 
Not the case. Everyone's so salty. Everybody thinks that every update is in favor of the killer. While I agree... Uh, see, right there. They had a chance and they didn't take it! <laughs> see, the big thing is that everybody thinks that, uh, you know, that's camping. That may be true. I could agree with that. But I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt that I have played games where the survivors have run circles around me. I haven't been able to touch them. And see, look at that. Sneaky little bastards they are. Look at them. I guess I made this in direct uh, retaliation to the argument that people, that can't, killers are camping the hook. Because as you can see, it just really isn't the case. Anyway, enough of my babbling. I have bastards to hunt. As you can see, as you chase the survivors, the entity gifts me the sight of hunt. And as the survivor sprints, they leave those little glowing scratch marks on the environment, which gives me some idea of where they've gone. It's not, it's not 100% accurate. Yeah! <laughs> it's not 100% accurate. I could easily lose them, like in, in a tuft of trees, if they play a game of Ring Around the Rosie with me, more often than not, I lose them. It's, it's really not that hard to succeed as a survivor. I never play as them, because I would never play on a team that I can't coordinate with. So that's why I play mostly killer, because I'm by myself a lot of the time. Fuck. But as you can also see, every killer has their own special little effect. The trapper can uh, find randomly generated bear traps to place around the map. The, the, the nurse can do a short range blink. I got my chainsaw! <laughs> And I love it because you go super fast as long as you're holding it down. It's diff difficult to control, and if you hit something, you stop running. So that's the downside of the of the hillbilly's chainsaw, but it's without a doubt my favorite move because it is, it is, it is just the worst to hear as a survivor. Just to hear off in the distance that chainsaw rev up and just know that your doom is in sight. Like, it's really like a game of like I love this game. Because you're really playing off of people's mistakes. You're really, like, manipulating them with sound and just... Ooh, someone's nearby. Ha! Little sneaky bitch! Come here, motherfucker! Ah! Oh, fuck. See? Like, uh, this game is very much based off of perks. Like, a lot of, uh, other games of its type... You gotta learn the map. You gotta you gotta develop that hunter instinct or that escapist instinct. Never run in a straight line. Never, never, never. You know, go the same direction for more than a couple of seconds because the killer is faster than the survivors. I could teach a fucking seminar on this game. I love games that allow me to prey on human mistakes. <laughs> That's why I like this game, uh, Left for Dead. I love Evolve. I love this game. It's so fantastic and. Just to hear people, like, mercilessly shit on it constantly for tiny little mistakes. Granted, I hear you, critics. There are uh, some server issues. There are some things that could be improved. I agree. Uh, my prey, my prey! <laughs> there are some things that need to be fixed and things that can be improved. This game is still relatively new. So, I don't know. I just, I just don't... I don't subscribe to the whole thing of gamer entitlement. This, like, this, I don't like this thing. Change it. Like, mm -mm. I, I, you know, games are a cooperation between devs and people. And on top of that, I don't want to imagine the level of difficulty that it takes to make something like this. So I'm really patient with devs, um, uh, even though I think most devs think people are idiots. Anyway, back to the slaughter. I love going this fast. <laughs> come out, come out, little piggies. I'm gonna put my other headphone on for this because sounds and visual cues are super, super helpful in this game as a killer. As the survivor, you get like a heartbeat and like a rising violin crescendo as the killer draws closer. I see you, Bill! Aw, oh, man. Yeah, if, for those of you who might be wondering, that's Bill from Left 4 Dead. He's a free update. See, I fucking hate this. Right here, the survivor's playing fucking Ring Around the Goddamn Rosie with you. 
It's not okay. I hate it! Come here! Come here, Bill! Do you not know that you can do that, Mr. Bill player? Ah, he got me, you little bastard! Mm. See, that's a that, that's a sly survivor right there. He's in he's in the wounded stage. So if he takes one more hit, he goes into the dying stage. But look at that! Look at that! He eluded me because my killer looked down for a second. It's fucking bullshit. Don't worry, Bill. I'll find you. Um, sorry. I, I get all tryhardy and go like, uh, 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 gotta get him. <laughs> I get all try-hardy sometimes. Well, a lot of the time. Every time I, like, am chasing someone, I can, I can feel myself, like, bend forward and my butthole get a little tighter. So, you know, I'm a sweaty try-hard. I'm okay with it. I've learned to accept it. You should, too. But like I was saying, perks in this game get fucking insane. Like, there are some perks that you can get as survivor or killer that are fucking debilitating. And furthermore, like, I've seen some nasty tricks. The survivors, while I'm carrying someone... The survivors can just sit in front of the hook and buy their, their, their teammate time to wiggle for, out of my grip. But right now, I'm getting really fucking pissed off that I can't fight anybody! Don't worry, little city boys. I'm just the hillbilly. I want to show you around. Show you around these parts so you don't get lost. I'm just here to be your friend. I'm here to, to give you lots of opportunities to take Instagram pics with my livestock. Don't you wanna show your friends where you have been? On a nice little organic farm with me, the kind farmer, kind, gentle farmer? Where the fuck? Dude. Oh. You thought you could duck me, bitch! Ah, oh. oh, fuck you! Oh. <laughs> Finally got you, Bill. Oh man, you're getting hooked so fucking hard right now. This motherfucker thought he could juke me. Ma oh man, that hook is really far. He's gonna wiggle out of my grip. That's what you can do as a survivor. That's why I'm walking like a drunk guy right now. As a survivor, when you're in the grip of the killer, you can, you can wiggle out or I can choose to just drop you and uh, deal with it. There we go. Easy peasy. You really thought you could get away from me, Bill. You really distinctly thought that? That thought inhabited you? Like, sincerely inhabited you for a minute? Not gonna happen. Alright, why don't you take a seat? Take a seat, Bill. Oops! Took a seat with your spine. Come on, boy. I'm just here to play. I want to play with a little bit of that pig skin. A little bit of the pig skin. I want to throw around a pig skin a bit. Don't you want to? Don't you want to look around my farm? Look around my farm. I can give you a free to. There he is! There he is, a little bitch. She snuck by me. Damn it! Ah, oh, little bastard. Come here. You got a pretty mouth, Bill. Oh man, I missed. Oh yeah. Save your friend all you want. He's going back on the hook. You're getting hooked, boy! You're getting hooked! Woo! Every time you get hooked, that, that bar, that timer, it goes down more and more. Not gonna happen, bitch. What you gonna do? 
What you gonna do? What you gonna do? <laughs> oh, see, I love, I love it. I love preying off of mistakes. That is the coolest feeling in the world. Call me a camper all you want. It doesn't matter how I do it, I win. There's ways to go around camping. I've seen people do it. People have done it to me. It's not impossible to deal with a person who sticks near the hook. If, if you lose, it's your fault. Uh, trust me, I've played Survivor. Now it's just you and me, Claudette! Not gonna happen. Those little boxes aren't gonna help you. Where are you going? Where are you going? Come back! I just want to play! <laughs> oh! There we go. Oh, you tactful little bastard. He's gonna try and juke me. He's gonna try and juke me. He's gonna try and go the long way around. At least I think so. He's probably healing in this building right now. Oh, he juked me. Oh! I hear him. I hear him, but I don't see him. I hear him. He's probably upstairs. Definitely upstairs. Where are you? I just want to play. Come here, my friend. It's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. Come here. Come here, little friend. Isn't this fun? You and me playing Ring Around the Rosie right now? Come here, friend. Gotcha. Come back, friend. I just want to be friends. Why won't you let me love you? <laughs> oh, man. It was just a matter of time. Hum da dum 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 dum. Sam wins. Give me that merciless victory. Oh! Oh, it's merciless. Oh! Oh, I love it. Winning feels so good. Call me a camper. Call me a camper. I still win. You saw two examples of them being able to run circles around me. The fact that their teammate wasn't there to help, the two out of four, it's their fault. They have every opportunity to go around someone who they believe to be camping. I just pray off of that. What can I say? The meta says that campers, uh, killers camp, people try to work around that. Not all of them participate because not all of them are communicating. I pray off of that. It's a legitimate strategy! Well, there's my super antagonistic... <laughs> my super antagonistic uh, video of Dead by Daylight. I love this game. I love being a killer. I love, love, love the salty bitches who believe that there's some sort of agreement between players that, sure, I'll give you a chance to win. Come at me. Call me a camper. Anyway... Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, I'm going to do more shit like this. More stuff where you watch me play against actual people. Anyway, remember to like, share, subscribe. All that good, beautiful shit in the world. Know that I love you, even though I'm a camper. <laughs> and don't forget that I am the melting man. <coughs> Fuck. I still can't. I can. Ugh.